strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. No think. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This your girl Queen Toscan. I'm back with another video. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Shout out to all my old and new subs, my moderators, and my members. I love and I appreciate y'all. Well, well, well. Let's get into it. So, we're going to be talking about this video right here. will be about Summer Wells. Um, a little update, and I'm going to address a couple of things in this video. Excuse the background noise, y'all. I hope it doesn't bother y'all too much. I am drying clothes, okay? Um, so, I'm sorry, excuse it if it's a little bit loud, okay? So, they have returned and searched Beach Creek area, the Wells House area. Yesterday, um, they are returning back today, so they will be out searching again today. Where they um, and focus on new areas they didn't get a chance to get to yesterday. Um, in this clip, it will tell you exactly everywhere they have searched, um, and they're gonna tell you that it was a planned search, and they was waiting for the leaves and the trees and everything, the foliage, for them to be able to see more. They had the helicopter out, um, things of that nature. I posted on my community wall yesterday. I just think it is important and that I noticed, like I said, it's, it's been still for some months now. And it's going to be going into our sixth month with some of us being missing. And we have not had a lot of searches. So, um... Not only do I take an account and believe what, mostly believe what authorities say in law enforcement, but I also observe law enforcement this whole five months, going to six months. I observe everything. The people that subscribe to my channel know how we get down over here. We're wide awake, okay? Nobody sleep. We, we are wide open. And we have observed law enforcement, okay? Not only... Do I hear them when they say a planned search? But I also believe that there's a reason why they're doing this. Okay? All right? No law enforcement is going to waste a lot of their researches, helicopters, fuel, the manpower, people on the ground, dogs, all of that. A lot of resources now. For no reason. Okay. There had to be something. A tip. Maybe pings. Um, GPS's. Okay. Because don't forget they have all of that. And it took. It takes sometimes months for those things to come back. So you got to take into account. Not only was this plan. Likely what they said. But. You got to take into account with everything that has likely came big okay so and you have to look at it as well pay attention okay pay attention the timing i think that's very important pay attention to the geography i think that's very important pay attention to they are, they have not left the Beach Creek area. What does that tell you? Well, I can tell you what it tells me. It tells Queen that they believe Summer Wells is out there. It tells me they do not believe Summer Wells was kidnapped. 
if you observed law enforcement this whole time, in this case, they have shown us they do not believe this child was kidnapped. They have shown us that she is out there somewhere. Okay? That's by looking and observing them. That's what they're showing us. Okay? So I want y'all to pay attention to this. Pay attention to that. Okay? So I don't... I, I Yeah, it's probably a planned search. Like they said. But there's something else to it because they're not going to just waste their manpower, their resources. They're not going to do that. All right. So they will be back out there today. See, so I look forward to that. Um, Helicopters and everything like that. And y'all just pray that we find this girl. Some of us need to be found. Regardless of the circumstances regardless if she's already deceased she needs to be found brought home laid to rest properly the people responsible need to go down under the jail okay they need to go down under the jail so let's go ahead and get into the video also real quick i want to say this jody sue when I did a video on, on my last summer was video and I addressed the screen, you came over and you had some things to say. I don't give a damn how you feel. At the end of the day, you made yourself public. You made yourself a part of this case. And we have all creators. Everyone has a right to say their opinion, whether they believe or not believe you. Your account of the screen, Lawson said he does not feel like it has nothing to do with Summer Wells. Before he said that. I felt it was bullshit. And I don't believe it. That's my opinion. I don't have to believe anything. If I don't want to. I'm a logical thinker. Something don't make sense. Something's wrong. So at the end of the day. I never believe the screen. Nothing you can do or say. Will make me believe. Any damn thing. So you coming over, trying to say what you say, I'm not that one that you want to fuck with in that sense, okay? Because I'm going to do and say what I want to say on my channel, and I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000. I never believed the screen. Didn't matter who you were. You made yourself public. That doesn't matter to me. I'm going to still speak what I speak, regardless of who comes in comments. I've had different people a part of cases come and comment on my channel. So you're not the first. You won't be the last. So nothing's coming down. You did not persuade me either way. I stand on what I say. Before Lawson said he didn't believe it had nothing to do with summer. I didn't don't even believe the screen. Period. Because Nobody else said nothing about a screen. Okay? You come out to me like somebody that wants to be involved in something. Attention, views, clicks, I don't know. But you inserted yourself into this. So, I'm just letting you know. That's a waste of time and space and effort. And if I happen to, we happen to discuss it again, we're going to discuss it when, where, how, wherever we want to. And that's it. It's nothing you can do or say or change anything. I don't give a fuck how you feel. It is what it is. It's about summer. It's not about you and your feelings. Nothing. You can't get mad because people don't believe you. They don't believe you. Some people do. Some people don't. I'm one of those that don't. I don't give a damn mad or not. It is what it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this video. I just want to make say that real quick. Just so she know for future reference when I do bring her up or not even her specifically, but the scream or anything that new comes up about it. If I address it, I'm going to address it and say what I want to say. And nobody's going to do nothing about it. That's all I want to say. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. 
Also tonight, search crews returned to Beach Creek today in the search for the missing five-year-old girl, Summer Wells. It's the first day of what we've been told is at least two days of searching to find Summer. John Jenko was there and has the latest tonight on how search crews have been trying to find Summer. Crews started their day here at Mount Carmel Church in the first on-the-ground search for Summer Wells in months. Tomorrow, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says they'll be back. As the day wraps up, Summer's father, Don, shared his thoughts. Uh, they had a plane flying all day and drone flying all day. <laughs> I had to pause right here, y'all. Look at this, y'all. He looks nervous. Don, are you nervous? You look nervous. You look like you don't know what they're going to find. You look nervous. You're on, you look on edge. You're not even looking in the camera. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are they getting close? Are you bothered that they're on, on your property again? What's wrong? What's wrong? Is reality setting in that some of Wells might just get found? What's up? What's really going through your mind right now? Because you look different. You look a little worried, bothered. You look a little stressed over there. The leaves are off the tree, so they can see a lot better. Donald Wells says he got a phone call this morning that the search for his daughter was coming back to Beach Creek. Over 120 officers from a dozen agencies returned to the place where they spent days back in June. This time, y'all see what I'm saying? Over 120 officers, different all all kind of agencies. They are not pulling all these resources for nothing believe you me there is a good reason that they're doing this and it's not in my opinion solely on a planned search they really believe that baby is close that baby is out there they really believe and then something as well as probably more evidence came in don't forget everything that they took. Cars, GPSs, phones. Don't forget that, okay? I'm the goal still the same. Find some answers in the Summer Wells case. We're looking for anything that would be evidence that Summer's been in that area. Crews took the search by ground and air. TBI confirming cadaver dogs were in use today. Lawson says investigators planned this search months ago. We want to wait until this time of year when after the frost and that the leaves are off the trees but not have to worry about all the foliage and the, and the briars and, and things like that so it makes it a lot better for, for the searchers they covered the same ground they did back in the summer lawson says the wells residence was also searched again he says he hoped crews could cover a mile radius from the house donald wells says he has not been contacted by authorities today but appreciated the renewed search effort hopefully we can find some clues as to what happened why would they contact you? Why would they? They don't need to. They're doing their job. They're looking for your daughter. There's still an open investigation. There's still an open missing child case. And y'all think about this as well. Just think about this. If I got a tip in... And I don't want to alarm the person or persons that might have put Summer in a location. I don't want to spark interest of where I'm searching on why I'm out there. I don't want to spook the suspects. So I always know that the law, law enforcement can lie to us. It's legal for them to lie to us. Okay? And it's normally supposed to be in good reason not to spook the suspect where they won't spook move the body if they did put a body out there they don't want to alarm anyone okay 
So I'm just throwing that out there. Y'all keep that in mind as well. When the search resumes tomorrow, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation tells me crews will focus on the areas they didn't cover today. In Beach Creek, John Jenko, News Channel 11. Hey, ladies, we're giving... All right. So, with that being said, what do y'all think? I want y'all to comment down below, as well as it being a planned search. What else do y'all think is going on? You know, give your opinions. No one is right or wrong. Um, let me know what y'all think. Um, because they're using a lot of resources like they did when she the first week she wouldn't been missing okay and that takes time effort and money and i don't see these people after not searching for a long time wasting their resources if they don't have anything to go on okay let me know what y'all think about that also y'all let me know do y'all feel like summer is still here with us or is she is she gone? Is she here? Or is she gone? Because you know what we're doing. If they're out there searching the ground, you know we're looking for remains. So, I'll go ahead and start off and give you my opinion. I do believe that Summer has been gone. I believe she's been gone since June 15th. I wanted... I wished she was here. You know, but I just don't think she is. I don't feel she is. I don't believe she is. Not only that, that I feel it, the statistics as well, along with it. Um, everything around it, everyone, you know, even as far as the parents speaking past tense early on. I just, I just feel like Summer has been gone. All right. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you feel like she's still here or she's deceased. Also, let me know about how you feel about the planned search out here. Is it just that? A planned search? Or are law enforcement going on with other information as well? I hope soon someone is brought home. So we can move on to the people that did this. And find out the real truth and who's really responsible and lay this baby to rest. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. It's your girl Queen Toss Crime. I'm out. I'm out of here. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.